Hello YouTube, Radar11x here again with another World of Tanks gameplay commentary video. Uh, it was requested that I do a heavy tank video. And so here I am with my KV-5. It is a tank that was gifted to me by a friend. And um, he actually gave me two choices. This is about a couple months ago. Let's go. It's like, alright, so you know, the KV-5 or the low? As you can see, it was the KV-5. Captain Einstein says that I probably should have slipped it to low. Uh, but hey, I got it now. It's, it's a love-hate relationship. Can't live with it, can't live without it at this point. Uh, the crew is at 100%. Um, pretty close to 100%ing uh, their uh, crew first uh, line of crew skills slash perks. Uh, this is, of course, uh, we're using the battle recorder in the game, and then the script is being replayed by the World of Tanks game client. I'm using Fraps to uh, get the video and commentate on this uh, video. As you can see, uh, the team, I'm moving um, up to the north. Uh, we got a lot of uh, team, a lot of our medium tanks pushing through the town. We're moving really fast. I'll go ahead and go to free up here. There we go. Uh, let's go over a few things about this tank while everything starts to play out. We'll go ahead and enlarge the map here so you can kind of keep an eye on what my teammates are doing. Alright, so KV-5 is not the greatest tank ever, as I kind of pointed out, alluded to, you know, earlier. Um, it has a nasty weak point on it. Now, you know, it's not that big, but there's this weak point on it, and it's that turret with the, uh, the machine gun. Uh, on the front of the tank. It's commonly referred to as the R2. It is a guaranteed damage point. Like, you can kill like three of the crew members with that just by hitting that turret alone. And you're guaranteed damage almost with any tier tank, you know, as long as you have a caliber of, you know, 50 millimeter or more and a high velocity uh, penetration rate. You will penetrate that R2 here. Alright, as you can see, um, and I'm down slow, so I'm getting some of that momentum up. We already got teammates in the, uh, in the enemy base, which is just crazy. Um, I'm pushing uh, after those guys. As you can see, um, I pointed out in the chat that we have uh, enemies moving through E7 and that uh, they need to be dealt with. Uh, I think it's going to be up to me to take care of that. Oh, and uh, Enemy is hit. 26 that was pulling back for who knows what reason. Probably hoping to flank us. But as you can see, the light gun is actually doing pretty nice well against the uh, M26 as long as I keep up with the flank shots. I'm trying to use the maneuverability of this M26 to keep around me. But that is not enough to uh, shake me off his uh, tail here and he's uh, dead and sitting duck or messing his up that's dead whatever what you want to go about um alright so penetration ISP I frankly with this gun it's not the greatest gun I cannot really take on my IS3 my plan is to try to push by it and get to the base we so, their armor. as you can see we lost uh Tank sure that was in town, that was guarding it. And see, the M41 actually got a hit in there. Um, I'm just giving up on the IS-3. I can't take it on from the front. I'm racing back to base. Frankly, the IS-3 should have been on my tail immediately after I showed him his rear. That means that the KB-5 actually has an awesome bit of rear armor. Boom. Got him. Base has been saved. Um, the VK 3601H off to my right there is AFK. I end up reporting him as a bot. Um, I think uh, the IS 3 got taken care of from behind by the uh, IS and the Type 59, so I didn't have them come up on my tail. As you can see, the scuffle that happened at the base basically ended, and uh, 
the majority of uh, my team and the indie team basically died in uh, in the base at D2. Uh, D2 uh, and E2. Like, it was just a, a crazy epic battle of some kind happened out there. I wish I could have been there to see it, but, you know, I was, you know, saving the game for my team. Now, Infant 1 was there, I believe, but I like, not respond to my uh, indications. But the BK from 6-01H is definitely AFK. Uh, I ended up reporting him as a bot. So now I'm just pushing my tank toward town, uh, through town, uh, toward the enemy uh, base, I should say. And um, as you can see, uh, my two teammates over there are struggling to take down the uh, T-29, Type 59. Artillery is not hitting much of anything other than the IS-3 earlier. A good, a good flank shot on the IS-3. But, um, Beyond that, I have not really noticed uh, the M41's effectiveness in this game. So um, I am now cutting along here. The KV-5 is not a very fast tank, uh, but the strategy I generally use with this tank is is making you know I basically I tank with the tank, you know, and. Yeah, it's a tank, so what else is he going to do, but uh, this tank can take hits. As long as I keep, I keep moving, and I, you know, make it so that R2 unit, as you can see, is taking a few hits, because a couple of people do know that it's a weak point, that uh, if I keep moving, it's hard for them to hit the weak points on it. And, uh, like, the turret is really tough. The rear armor on this tank is actually pretty amazing. And as you can see, I'm now in the base. Here, this is my teammate. And um, I'm just gonna roll up, round into him. As you can see, I was aiming for the machine gun port on the front of that tank. I kind of glanced it, but that was enough to uh, give me a good penetration and damage on it. You always want to aim for fixtures on tanks. Generally, that is almost guaranteed to be a weak point. All right, the battle's won. As you can see, um, I actually did pretty well with the KV-5 in this one. Um, again, it was a crazy battle at their base. I wish I could have been there to see it. But uh, that scout tank uh, got into the backfield and uh, I had to take care of it. Um, see, two kills for me. I damaged one other tank, the uh, T-29. And I detected nothing. The KV-5 has horrible... Um, sighting abilities, so that's why I kind of have the uh, the uh, add-on for its uh, visual sighting range to be a bit farther out. Um, that will be it for this uh, episode of uh, World of Tanks gameplay commentary. Uh, look forward to more. I'm about to go ahead and uh, get the uh, M6 American Heavy Tank. I've had it unlocked for like a month now, I just never took the time to actually buy into it, mainly because the T1HT left a very nasty taste in my mouth. So I'm probably going to go ahead and grab that tank so we can do some early tier uh, um, uh, tank battles with the heavy tanks, and that would make three heavy tanks in my garage, KV-5, the uh, I, uh, KV-1S, and now the uh, the uh, 20 the M6 the M6 that's what it was called. Um, frankly, American tanks generally aren't that great uh, when it comes to their heavy tanks, but you know what they lack in armor, they generally make up for with uh, a nice refire rate on really nice guns.